everyone in today's video we are going to see how to prepare a natural shikakai powder at home nowadays not only women but also men are facing a lot of hair related problems especially tremendous hair fall balding gray hair and dandruff related problems of course we do have a lot of off the shelf products to treat these problems but we are not very sure whether these products would give us good results nature has blessed us with lot of natural herbs that can really treat your hair related problems the lot of the herbs contained in this shikakai powder would really help you to maintain your hair in a very good condition this shikakai powder would really help you to stop hair loss and also enhance the growth of your hair it has lot of anti dandruff herbs like neem and tulsi these are antiseptic in nature so various other herbs added in this shikakai powder would really help you to have a healthy scalp and it removes the dirt and impurities from your scalp let's see the complete list of the ingredients required to prepare this shikakai powder and the ingredients are to prepare this shikakai powder i'm going to weigh all the ingredients so i have taken the weighing scale and i'm keeping a bowl over it so it shows the bowl weight as 234 grams so by pressing the zero option i have made the weight as zero and now i am going to take half kilogram of shikakai so we are taking 500 grams of shikakai this is the raw shikakai and this is how it would uh, look like uh, before it is being powdered so it has to be there in a breaking condition like that so you will be able to just break it and it should be crispy to break it so if in case it is not crispy never mind you have to just put it in a big plate and uh, uh, leave it in the sun for a while so you know that whether it is dried well or not so here we are taking 500 grams of shikakai and the next ingredient is going to be soap nut this is otherwise called as rita or bundi kottai so i'm using i'm taking around 100 grams of soap nut for this preparation the soap nut helps to clean your scalp it removes the impurities and dirt in your scalp and the soap nut also gives you a foam it lathers your shikakai so it gives a lot of foam so it helps you to really work well with your uh, uh, shikakai to remove the dirt and impurities The next ingredient is nothing but Indian gooseberries. These are called as amla kai. So we are not using the fresh amla kai. I am using the dried form of amla kai. So this is how the dried amla kai would look like. So it is being cut into pieces and dried. I am taking around 100 grams of amla kai for this preparation. So the proportion is like this. When you take half a kilogram of shikakai, then these are the proportion for the other ingredients to add in it so we are going to keep shikakai as the base amla kai helps you to stop hair loss and also it induces hair growth and also it darkens your hair color naturally so amla will always have its natural qualities retained in any form even if it is fresh or dried format so even if it is in a dried format it will have the 100% qualities of the real fresh amla so the same properties would remain in the dried amla also and the next ingredient is fenugreek seeds so we are taking around 200 grams of fenugreek seeds the fenugreek seeds is a very good conditioner it helps to control the dryness and the damage of the hair and also the fenugreek seeds would helps you to get nice bonds to your hair so the next ingredient is hibiscus flowers but we are not going to use the fresh hibiscus flowers because fresh hibiscus flowers cannot be used for a powder so we are going to use the dried form of the hibiscus flowers we are taking around 50 grams of hibiscus uh, dry flower for this shikakai preparations hibiscus flower helps you in conditioning your scalp and conditioning your hair this helps to have a smooth and shiny texture for your hair and also it helps to stop the hair loss and enhances the hair growth this is called as avarampu in tamil whereas this is also called as mathura tea tree and in english it is called called as avaram senna 
I'm going to use again the dried format of Avarampu for this shikakai preparation. So, but I'm trying to show you the fresh form of this flower. So, we are going to take around 50 gram of Avarampu in a dried form. This is how it would look in the dried form. Avarampu is helps to reduce the body heat and also it reduces the dandruff in your scalp and also it helps to clean and condition the scalp and hair and also it gives you a very soft and silky hair. So this is the dried form of this Avaram flower. We are taking 50 grams of this Avaram poo for this Shikakai preparation. And the next ingredient is called as vetive. This is called as vetive. This is raw vetive. A lot of people might not have seen this vetive. And this vetive is predominantly used in a lot of spa treatments and also in a lot of massages and other things it's used. And also it is used for hair care and other things. So this is how the vetive is it would look like. The speciality of this vetive is this is actually a root of a plant. And this is the only root in the world which has a very good smell. So the vetive oil is used in a lot of skin care treatments and hair care treatments and also you will be getting a lot of spa treatments using the vetiver oil. So the vetiver naturally heals any wounds or any itching sensation in your scalp. It is a natural antiseptic. So we are taking around 30 grams of vetiver for this shikakai preparation. And the next ingredient we are going to use is rose. So we are not going to again use the fresh roses. We are going to use the dried rose flowers. Here I have the dried rose flowers. I am going to take around 50 grams of this rose, dried rose petals or the rose flower uh, for this shikakai. So it, it just weighs around 51 grams. This one gram doesn't make any difference. So, so we are going to take around 50 grams of this rose flower petals for this shikakai preparation. And the next ingredient I am going to use for the shikakai preparation is neem and this is these are the neem leaves this is how the neem leaf would uh, look like but uh, uh, the neem leaf can be used in a dried format but i haven't dried the neem leaf as such so what i'm going to do is like for the shikakai powder preparation i'm going to use the neem powder directly so this is the neem powder i have taken around 25 grams of neem powder this is curry leaf powder so of course you all know that the curry leaves which we use for cooking I have taken around uh, another 25 grams of curry leaf powder you all know hibiscus leaves uh, it would look like this so I have taken the leaf from the hibiscus plant so this is hibiscus leaf powder so I have uh, I'm using this also in the powder form you can use the dried form of the leaves along with the shikakai but as I have them in the powdered form i'm using this in the powdered form this is called as karislang kanni in tamil and in english it is called as fall stasis and in hindi it is called as bringaraj leaves this is the fresh form of the leaves most of the people wouldn't have seen this fresh mostly we get this in a dried format or in a powder format or in an oil format so the uses of this uh, bringaraj is like it helps to reverse the gray hair it helps you to darken the hair hair color it helps in stopping the hair loss and also it conditions your scalp. So this is most widely used for hair care treatments and also it helps in regrowth of hair. If a person is making a paste of this leaf and mixing it with yogurt and applying it on the bald scalp, this leaf helps to regrow the hair in bald head. It also helps to cure premature graying and also it helps to cure dandruff so this leaves are not fully grown now because this is not a season for this leaves it will be having a small flower like this there is two two colors of flowers one is white and the other one is yellow you can use both the color flower plant for this purpose it is not only used for hair care but also used for skin care also so now we have got the white color plant uh, but you can use the yellow color one also for the uh, for any kind of preparation uh, both the color flowering plant has the same quality we don't have the leaves grown fully because this is not a season it's pretty warm here during the rainy season you can find them to be really big and uh, also very fresh so we managed to get only the small uh, 
leaves today so i'm not using again the fresh form of this leaves i haven't dried them so i'm using the powder of this leaves so the bringraj powder would uh, look like this you all know very well because in the previous hair oil preparation also we use this powder but i was not able to show you the leaf or the plant so this is how it would look like uh, the plant so the leaves would be like this the moment you crush the leaves like that it the leaves might turn into black in color i remember those days like uh, even for the teeth whitening these leaves are used it also helps in whitening the tooth also but anyway regarding the other uses of this curry slankani or the bring raj Uh, we'll be having an extensive video about the total uses and benefits of this plant. As of now, we are telling you how it is being used in hair care. This is called as carboga arisi. It would be like this. They say that this is also one form of rice. Uh, this is predominantly used in hair care and beauty care treatments. So I'm going to use this also, but we will not be using a lot of this. We'll be using very less. So I'm going to take around 25 grams of carboga arisi for this shikakai powder preparation. So this also. helps to maintain your scalp and also condition your hair and it is also good for any kind of inflammations or infections in your scalp this is good for it also this this carboha rc helps you to reduce the body heat so the next ingredient is basil which is called as tholasi this is not the regular basil this is called as holy basil the leaf would uh, really look like this this is the fresh form of tholasi so as i don't have the dried form of the leaves i'm using the dry powder of the tulsi so i have taken the tulsi powder which is again 25 grams of tulsi powder so i have taken the 25 grams of all the powders so the idea is to you have to blend all these ingredients dry ingredients in a blender or if in case you have any place where you can blend this into a nice powder format you can blend them after blending all the whole ingredients whole dry ingredients into a powder you can mix all these powdered ingredients and mix it well in that and you can use that as a shikakai as the quantity is pretty high and it is dry powder it is too difficult to do it at home so i just gave by uh, to the nearby mill where they really blend this into a fine powder we will show you how to prepare a shikakai paste for applying the hair using this powder when you powder this powder you have to be a little careful it shouldn't be too fine and also it shouldn't be too coarse you have to have a little coarsey feeling in the powder so we will be showing you how to mix this powder to make a shikakai paste there are few ways in which you can mix the shikakai powder the quantity varies based on the thickness of your hair and the length of your hair i do have a very short hair that's the reason why i'm taking a little quantity of uh, shikakai powder i'm taking around 4 tablespoon of shikakai powder and i really like to use curd for my hair so i am using curd to mix this but if in case you can take a cup of water you can throw in few curry leaves if you have neem leaves you can throw in some neem leaves and you can also throw in some uh, hibiscus flowers and leaves and boil that so that the essence of that leaves would get into the water and you can add that water but i always prefer yogurt i am adding yogurt to the shikakai powder and you can add little bit of water and mix it well make sure that it is not having any lumps you have to really really beat it well and you have to allow this mixture to soak for at least 3 to 4 hours it is always good if you could do this in the night and in the morning you can use this liquid so it will you can get it soaked for 10 to 12 hours make sure that you're not having any lumps beat it well even after leaving it for 3 to 4 hours you beat it well once and then apply it on your scalp because like uh, when you really have uh, lumps and other things it it might get clogged in your hair and it will be too difficult for you to wash it off even after finishing the hair wash you might even find the clogs staying back in your hair so you have to have a nice paste so beat it well 
people those who are having asthma and uh, wheezing shouldn't use shikakai it would really aggregate the effects of asthma and wheezing for them so they have to be careful they shouldn't use shikakai when you mix it it can be little liquidy in a little bit runny texture so that when you take it in the morning you when you mix it it will have a right paste consistency and also if you find it to be too thick in the morning you can mix a little bit of water and apply it on your scalp you have to really have it in a runny texture so this is the right texture to have it on your scalp don't make it too thick like a tight paste have it more in a runny form as i said before if in case you even mixed it with yogurt Uh, and you want to really mix it little bit more with the water then you can have a half a cup of water and throw in some curry leaves or a little bit of amla juice or something like that if you really find the dandruff is uh, is quite a lot then you can add a little bit of aloe vera or lemon juice in that water and boil it and add it to make it so you all know what are the basic ingredients which really helps in hair growth and uh, and in eliminating your dandruff so you can use those in, in ingredients and make your shikakai paste you can even add amla juice to it or lemon juice to it you can even add curry leaf water or hibiscus leaves water or hibiscus flower water to it and make it as a fine paste you don't need to soak this in your hair for a very long time you you can directly go and apply it on your scalp and lather it and wash it off it, it is not that you have to soak it in your head you can directly apply it and rub it and wash it off whereas you have to soak this mixture for 4 hours this is the shikakai powder preparation i hope you guys would be really liking the shikakai powder preparations do try this at home and share your feedback and comments with us we are looking forward for your feedback and comments and please do share us your feedbacks and comments if you really like this video please hit on the like button and do follow us in facebook and twitter thank you so much for watching this video stay beautiful bye bye